Hello lovely members, I hope you're super well. This is a little pick a card reading just for you guys. Um, it's going to be like messages from the universe, just what spirit wants you to know at the moment. This is pile number one, number two and number three. Uh, this is Apophyllite, this is Black Obsidian and this is Selenite. Um, so yeah, just going to be messages about what spirit wants you to hear at the moment and I'll give you a second to uh, choose which pile you would you feel drawn to and um, if you feel like you would like more time you can obviously you can pause the video but timestamps will be in the description box and in the comments box if I remember hopefully um, so I will see you at your pile Okay, so pile number one, um, the Apophyllite. We're going to start off with a couple of cards from this deck here. Okay, Spirit, what would you like pile number one to know, please? Some stuck energy in this pile. Okay, you're giving and receiving. Wow, they came out very quickly. All right, I'm going to take this one at the bottom of the deck here as well. I'm just going to, I'm going to take this. <laughs> I'm going to take that one too. All right, so you have the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving. Oh, I forgot, it's um, super focused. <laughs> Sorry, pile number one. There we go. So you have the Six of Pentacles here, giving and receiving. So it's time to open yourself up, again, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you have love, the, the lovers. This looks like a love reading to me. You have um, no, the Five of Pentacles, feeling alone. So this is coming in out of the cold. If you've chosen this pile, I feel like there's love coming in for you. And um, you're about to come in out of the cold. I feel like you've been in the cold, obviously. Um, if you're coming in out of the cold, but I feel like you're, you've been in the cold, you've maybe experienced a lot of rejection in terms of love, but this is going to be a very equal relationship that's coming in now, okay, with the lovers there, this is like a true love, okay, this is like a soulmate coming in now, this is somebody who's, you know, they're going to really understand you and you're going to understand them, but it's going to require you to open up. And I think that's not something you're used to doing anymore, pile number one. You have strengthening bonds, the ace of pentacles, and opportunity beckons, the four of cups. So um, there's going to be an offer here. Someone is coming in to make you an offer. I feel like you don't know this person very well. Um, so there's like a getting to know each other phase here. And with opportunity beckons, it's really important that you don't... You know, Spirit is saying, go for this opportunity, like, whatever this... Because I feel like you don't completely trust it, is what I want to say. Yeah, look. Yeah, okay. I feel like you don't completely trust it. You have the Devil with the Five of Pentacles here. You have the Five of Pentacles twice so far. So you have this fear of um, being left out in the cold, like of being rejected. So I feel like you, you kind of find it difficult to open up to people. Or maybe it's just this one person, right? But I think you've had a lot of rejection and love. And now there's this kind of, this devil energy that kind of stops you from opening up fully to people because you're kind of scared of getting hurt again. But with the Four of Cups, Spirit is saying, like, don't let this opportunity or these opportunities coming in. I feel like it's a specific person. You know, you might just not have met them yet, but with the Lover's card, like, it's someone that you're supposed to meet. It's a fated connection. You know, this will be someone, this person's going to bring you in from the cold, all right? No more feeling like not understanding why people don't accept your love and understand, not understanding why you're always single. It's because you've been waiting for this person that's coming in. You've both had a bunch of stuff to do. You've both had all your lessons that you needed to learn. Because we come here to learn, right? We don't just come here to fuck about. 
Um, it's a school, you're here to learn. That's why it sucks so hard. <laughs> um, but this person coming in now is like your reward, okay? You're gonna feel completely at home with this person and they're gonna feel completely at home with you. You may have even felt like a bit of a weirdo, <laughs> pile number one, for most of your life because you didn't f kind of felt like you didn't fit in. Um, this person has felt the same way, okay? I just want to say, look at the look on her face. See how distrustful she is? Because I, I'm sure you've been... Yeah, there's been, I think people have taken a lot from you in the past. I don't know if that's one person or if that's a habit. You know, people tend to take a lot from you. You're a giver. You're always giving a lot. Um, Lots of toxic energy in your past, I feel like, pile number one. Feeling alone, the Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Cups. So no more feeling alone, coming in out of the cold, okay? This period of your life where you were always single and not understanding why people didn't accept your love, is, is you're, you're coming out of that now because you're going to understand that you were sa being saved for this person, right? That's why it didn't work out with the rest of these bottom feeders, right? <laughs> That's why. Um, because you were being saved for this person. Okay, what else for pile number one? Okay, oh my gosh, look at that. You have, um, the Three of Wands and the Two of Cups. <laughs> okay, so the Three of Wands is clarifying the Ace of Pentacles, strengthening bonds. So there's going to be a, a message or a new beginning here and the Three of Wands is all about getting on the same page with each other, alright? So there's going to be some kind of message that comes in here and you're both going to, there's going to be a conversation, right? Because you're both ready, Three of Wands, you're both ready, turning your back on the past to embrace this, okay? But they want to know what you're thinking, you want to know what they're thinking, soon you're going to know. And that Four of Cups is clarified by this Two of Cups. You have the Lovers and the Two of Cups in this reading pile number one, and you only have 10 cards. <laughs> so, you know, the Four of Cups talks about um, not letting an opportunity pass you by because you're suspicious of it or because there's like, crap from the past that you haven't let go of, you know, embrace this because this is the one that you're supposed to be with, okay? And you're going to understand when you meet this person because or you've already met them and you know who I'm talking about, it's going to feel really right being with this person. It's going to feel like a friend, you know, that you're very, very attracted to, <laughs> um, obviously. But yeah, lovers, the two of cups heavy soulmate energy in this reading. Okay, let's see. What else for pile number one, please? God, pile number one, who have you been dealing with? You have the Six of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Five of Wands. Okay, there has been some heavy toxic energy in your past. I don't know if this is one person or if this is multiple people. The Five of Wands can sometimes, I mean, they're all women, but I mean, it's a witchy deck, so there, a lot of the characters are women, but I don't know if you had a lot of women in your family that caused you a lot of problems or took a lot from you or if you had a group of friends it doesn't have to be women but let's just discount the women thing just because there's women on the card it made me think of that um or it could be like female friends as well like they were just kind of bitchy or something like this it could also be like female co-workers but like i said it doesn't have to be females but I just feel there's a lot of people in your past that were always kind of trying to take from you. Um, 
Let me just get the energy here, hold on. They're actually, they, what you need to know is that these people have kind of been jealous of you, pile number one. There's been an awful lot of jealousy around you. And it's because you're such a pure spirit. A lot of people don't understand it. And you're very, very giving. You have a very innocent soul. You really, really want to help people. And I feel like you're quite often maybe the one that has the money or you're maybe the one that has the control or something and people kind of try and take it from you. There's been a lot of toxic energy, maybe a lot of bitching behind your back or like you have a toxic family um, or toxic friends. This can also refer to one person who took a lot from you and really made you question your own self-worth. I feel like there's a heavy toxic energy in your past. And the thing is, you're so sweet and you're so pure, like you don't understand why people do this, okay? What you have to understand is that they're just not like you, okay? And nothing that you do, and no, you can give people like that as much as you want, you're not going to change them. Because you're basically enabling them. The only thing that's going to make them understand is you leaving. That's what's going to make them understand and grow. Okay, so you have the, the lovers with the five of pentacles and the four of swords. So this new person coming in, pile number one, is going to give you a lot of peace. You are coming in out of the cold. They're going to give you a lot of peace. This is your peace. You're about to find your peace. Because this person understands you completely. They are not going to be jealous of you. They're not going to try and one-up you. Um, you're not always going to have to have your boundaries up with this person. They're just going to love you. Because this person's been looking for the same thing. With the lover's card, you're very, very similar. Like you're mirroring each other. Especially with that two of cups there as well. You're very, very similar. So this person's probably been through a lot of the same shit that you have. What else, please? Okay, you have the Eight of Cups with the Page of Swords. There's just an ending. The Ten of Swords. So you have Five of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Page of Swords, Ten of Swords. Okay, so there's just an ending here to feeling alone, feeling left out in the cold. Because you're going to understand you didn't do anything wrong with these people in your past. You didn't do anything wrong. Whether that's a lover or people that ghosted you or friends or family. You've always been trying to go for people that needed help subconsciously because I think you feel guilty about basically being who you are. Like you feel guilty that you're happy basically. So you, cause you're, you're, you seem to be a natural light worker. So you've always kind of gone for people that kind of needed help. And you can, I think you're starting to understand now with the Page of Swords, you're having some kind of epiphany um, that you weren't actually being rejected. It's just that the people that you were trying to love in the past, they just couldn't handle it, okay? They just couldn't handle it. They couldn't handle you. But you're about to meet someone that can. And you're going to realize this all of a sudden. Yep. You have the lovers twice in this reading. You have the ace of pentacles, the three of wands, and the lovers. So, yeah, this is like you, me versus the world type energy. This is getting on the same page. There's going to be a conversation here that, that's like, okay, let's do this. Let's do this. What do you want? What do you want? This is what I want. This is how I feel about you. What do you want? 
is going to be an almost as soon as you have this discussion i feel like you're going to be basically inseparable from this person oh, and you have the page of cups here i'm going to take that one too so you have the four of cups the two of cups the six of wands and the page of cups so this is a new newer energy okay um and it's very very supportive the six of wands in a relationship talks about oh my god look you have the knight of cups at the bottom of the deck so you have there's an offer coming in towards you okay um the six of wands in a love reading talks about mutual support and like i said you're both very similar both of you have like a very innocent energy i think you've both been heavily taken advantage of in the past but it was always because, uh, I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but it was like you were looking for validation from people. And the thing is, right, because I used to be like this myself, um, when you're always kind of looking for validation from people, the wrong people come for you because they see that you want validation and therefore you are easier to take advantage of, right? Because they know how to play you. Um, so I feel like maybe both of you have dealt with that kind of stuff in the past, but this is going to be like mutually supportive energy. Like this person's going to support you. You're going to support them. You're going to big each other up. You're both very, very sweet. Page of Cups energy. Like you're both very innocent. You're both very, very sweet. Your intuition is on point, pile number one. Okay. So don't let what is being reflected to you in the 3d world make you like make you doubt what you know right because maybe nothing is happening in the 3d world at the moment but there's a lot going on behind the scenes like this person is just waiting to come in um they're going to be here very soon okay you have the, the news you've been waiting for so I feel like you're going to get, this person is going to be coming in very soon, okay? And I think it's going to be quite sudden. Look at that. Stop trying to save people who hurt you, pile number one. So, you know, you might find that this delay in the connection or this delay with you meeting someone new has been so you can rid yourself of this toxic energy from your past, whoever it is. So it could be multiple people. Yeah. You have, you are enough. See, you've been looking for validation from other people. Once you stop doing that, they have no control over you. And I speak from experience. <laughs> you have life purpose. So this is one of your life lessons, okay, is to understand that you, by yourself, are whole and complete. You are enough, completely on your own. You don't need these toxic energies in your past. There's nothing wrong with you. You've just been trying to give your love to the wrong people. And look at this, you have ignore the haters, keep going. I just think you have an awful lot of toxic energy around you, pile number one. Like you have an awful lot of kind of haters. And I can assure you, it's nothing more than um, because you're you. You haven't done anything wrong. It's because you're happy and you're sweet. You know, that's basically it. And look at that one number 20 I am always enough the lighthouse don't doubt your worth pile number one let's just quickly read that because these are that's a beautiful deck um, so number 20 there will always be someone in your life who doubts the amazing things you're capable of it is then that you must decide to be your biggest champion believe wholeheartedly in your own worth regardless of outside opinion. Feed yourself a steady diet that speaks to self-love, self-kindness, and self-confidence. Yes, so, fuck them, <laughs> pile number one, you don't need them. Um, but yeah, you have a beautiful new love coming in here. Many of you have already met this person, I think. You're just kind of chilling, waiting for them. Um, so I'm gonna leave it there, pile number one. I hope it was useful, <laughs> excuse me. Um, many thanks for watching and many thanks for supporting the channel as well. I appreciate it so much. And take care, pile number one. Lots of love. Hey, pile two, the black obsidian. Um, let's get straight into your reading. 
We use different cards than what pile one had. So let me just give them a shuffle. Okay, so this is a, um, I think that's a crown chakra card creation. So let's just have a little look here. This is a new deck, so let's just see here. Creation. So this is, yeah, this is the crown chakra. Letting go of old ideas and allowing new growth are primary now. The mission you have been on may be complete. A new dawn is coming and it's time to open yourself up to divine inspiration. The message is here, let go, you no longer need to be the warrior. Pile number two, interesting. So you have a whole new beginning coming in here. I feel like maybe you've always had to be the tough one then. And they're saying like, there's a time of peacefulness coming in now, yeah. So this will be the third eye chakra, recovery. Let's just have a look at that one as well. Lilac offers detachment as you allow yourself to see the big picture. What once have been what once may have been immaturity is now about growing into a new partnership with spirit. Step back and allow the angels to bring healing to you. So they're not saying that you're immature, but what it means is like, you've had a, a lot of harsh lessons, pile number two, but what they're saying now is, I think now you understand, or you will very soon, like why you had to go through these things. And it's actually given you, because this is the crown chakra and the third eye chakra. So these, kind of trials that you've been through in the past have all been to make you more in tune with spirit, to make you more aware of your life purpose. Um, you, a, a lot of people who pick this pile, you may very well be quite psychic, you may be involved in spirituality or something in some way, or if not, you may well be soon. But there's a lot of healing going on for you at the moment, pile number two. Um, with the crown chakra and the third eye chakra, you may very well be getting a lot more messages than you were before. You know, for example, um, recently you may have realized like a lot of the reasons why things have happened and you're getting like a lot more messages coming in. And with the third eye chakra, that's what that talk like the third eye talks about being able to see past the veil, which is like seeing why things happened. Right, because once you start getting into that mindset of everything is a lesson, that's when you're kind of seeing through the veil, right? But they're saying the tough times are over now, pile number one. You've learned major, major lessons here. You've got to the point where you need to be and now things can kind of chill out a little bit, okay? You have Miracle. This is a solar plexus card. So let's see what that one says. Sorry for having to look up the cards, but they're they're brand new, so um the brightest of all thoughts reside in sun yellow as natural radiance stems from pure integrity. Be honest and forthright no matter what. With the energy of the sun, a miracle awaits. You instinctively know what is authentic. Trust this. Alright. The shit that you've been through in the past was all to awaken your instincts, okay? These people that have hurt you in the past, these situations that you are constantly, because this is the thing, right? When spirit wants you to learn a lesson, and some people's lessons are harsher than others, okay? The people who are meant to do more spiritual things in this world, your lessons are harsher than everyone else's, okay? Basically because you're more evolved, right? Um, they don't give you more than you can handle. So you have to be a fairly evolved old soul to take really harsh lessons, okay? Um, but everything that you have been through has been to open your third eye, to open your crown chakra more, to make you trust your instincts so that you can see, like you can see through the veil, pile number two. Um, and there's a miracle coming in now. 
and you're very pure because I think whatever it was that happened to you, like you haven't let it change you. You're still the, the same very pure spirit as you've, you've always been. It's just that now you kind of don't let yourself get taken advantage of so much because you can see through situations a lot more now. And the thing is, we need people who can see now because you, need, you not only do you need to be able to see through what's happening in your own localized life, you need to be able to see what's happening in the big picture so we can save the planet, basically, <laughs> save the world, uh, so we can like ascend, right? This is the reason that a lot of people like yourself have incarnated here at this time. Because a lot of people who have already ascended have actually chosen to come back and help. So you may actually be one of those people, some of you. Enlightenment, oh my God. That's another solar plexus card. Okay, let's see what that one says. Oh my God, I love these cards. Um, the opportunity to make an enlightened decision is inherent in this card. A journey of true destiny is the vibrational energy here. Regal gold and earthy brown mix to create something spectacular. Your experience will guide others. You are a teacher. Pile number two, you are a spiritual teacher. You had to come here and learn these lessons because you're meant to lead. You are meant to lead other people. You're one of the light carriers, which is a tough responsibility, okay, but it needs to be done. So this is the reason that they have made you see. You're, I mean, you're not like, you know, um, enlightened in the way that they talk about like uh, Jesus or something like this or like one of the ascended masters but when they talk about enlightenment it talks about like opening your eyes to what's really going on to who you really are understanding that um you know you've been through this veil of illusion before you got here you understand because a lot of people are trapped in the karma like a lot of people are trapped in in the 3D they can't see, right? So there's still a lot of this pain and suffering and you are here to help pull people out of that. This is why your journeys have been so hard. Your journey has been so hard, but it's gonna get easier now, okay? Because you've learned the lessons. Oh my God, that's another... Um, I just wanna pull one more. That's another third eye card. Thank you. All right, we're gonna take both of them. Okay. So you have gratitude, this is a third eye card. You have gossip and you have balance, another third eye card. <laughs> oh my God, your intuition, like your third eye is so open at the moment, pile number two. Like your intuition is spot on at the moment. Gratitude, you are capable of more than mortal conversation. So you might get super bored. You might find recently that you can't talk to people. This is what happens when you undergo this kind of um, spiritual awakening. You find that like normal conversation bores you. So you kind of don't hang out with the same people you used to because you don't have anything to talk about, right? Um, you are capable of more than mere mortal conversation. This is a time of enlightened communication and you will raise the consciousness of others. That's twice. You're some kind of teacher. You might have a YouTube channel and you might be like a tarot reader or um, maybe have a blog. I don't know what else that could be. You will raise the consciousness of others. You are stepping into self mastery. The gifts you see in others already live within you. Pile number two, you are very psychic, <laughs> okay? And it took all these crap things that you went through in the past to show you just how psychic you are, okay? And this is, now, if you are noticing that you basically have no friends now, <laughs> um, yeah, it's like I was saying before, it's because you don't have shit to talk about with these the people that you used to hang out with they're not, you know, it gets to a point where you feel like you can't tell them about your spiritual stuff, right? Because they don't understand and you don't want to talk about Love Island or whatever, you know, um, or like the Beckhams or whoever it is now. So you might find that 
you know, you're looking for different kinds of conversation from people, but you have something to say. It's like something that you say, like some kind of way of speaking, communicating with others is going to raise other people's consciousness. Um, you definitely have a job to do. Gossip. This card represents the truly open heart with no personal agenda other than love, but it could also indicate the opposite, rebellion and denying your true gifts. An ability to follow your heart can appear to others as strange or careless. Yet, in truth, everyone wishes they had the loving openness that, that you do. So you may have found recently that you're kind of straying away from friends and family or like you've quit your job. You know, maybe you've decided to, I don't know, for example, right, start a YouTube channel or something, right? Um, and people are like, oh my God, what are you doing? That's so crazy. Like, don't do crazy things. Ah, you're crazy. You're so crazy. But they don't have the direct line <laughs> to, to spirit that you have. So you're not crazy. You're listening to your intuition, which is something that a lot of people don't do. All right. Um, and also, I think you're about to discover your true gifts. I think maybe in the past you were kind of denying them a little bit, maybe because you didn't want to seem better than other people or something like this, or you didn't want to be judged, or I don't know, maybe your friends or people that think like spiritualism's weird or something like this, and you have balance as well. Let's just check that one. This card may indicate a reluctance to change. You may be hesitating because of the past, but that doesn't mean you should be hasty. Weigh all sides before moving forward. Um, this can mean the start of a relationship, proceed slowly. See, I feel like, because these two came out together, you may have always kind of known you were a bit psychic, but you kind of, you didn't really want to acknowledge it. Maybe because people like, I don't know, you had like a lot of bitchy people around you or something, or you said, to people in the past about spiritualism and stuff and they've kind of poo-pooed it or something but yeah they're saying don't hesitate because of the past pile number two um so let's see what comes out in your tarot wow this is an interesting pile in fact i want to get some of these ones first okay what would you like pile number two to know See, I want to say as well, I'm kind of drawn more towards the images on these two. See how he's carrying that weight? See how they've got grumpy people here and grumpy people here, right? So I feel, I don't know, I feel like you carry a lot of weight for other people <laughs> in this world, okay? I feel like you're one of the light bringers and you may have a more heavy role, okay? than a lot of people, because most people, they never listen to their intuition, they don't self-reflect, you know, you know, they they just don't care. But um, unfortunately, you're one of the people that has to kind of carry the load for these people, and a lot of them won't say thank you, <laughs> okay? Like, a lot of the people in your life, you know, if you try and help them, like, they won't, you know, if you try and say to them, like, oh, you know, like, you would be a lot happier if maybe you did some healing, or like, um, you know, maybe if you, I don't know, got a tarot reading or something like this, but they're, they're, I think you might just have to make your peace with the fact that there are like, I don't know, maybe friends or family or something like that, that can't come on this journey with you. And it doesn't mean you have to leave them behind, but some of them just won't understand, okay? And that's not your fault, it's just the way it has to be. Not everybody can come with you where you're going, pile number two, and they might be grumpy because when you have these spiritual awakenings, you seem so much happier because life makes sense, right? And they don't have that yet, okay? So, right, they want you to know that whatever this is you're trying to do at the moment, it will work out for you, okay? Everything will work out for you, pile number two. And you know what? Sometimes it sucks, like if you're alone at the moment, pile number two, it does suck to be alone, but you will get to a place where you would actually rather be alone than 
listening to people talk about shit, right? Have faith, it's coming. There's some kind of miracle coming because it's coming underneath miracle. You have some kind of miracle coming. Pile number two. You have release the kraken, be yourself. So there's something here. You have some kind of gift. Pile number two that you're, you're kind of repressing a little bit or you're not showing it to the world. And it's, I think it's time to start showing this gift to the world. Yep, leveling up. See, there's some people that can't come with you, okay? This is just, unfortunately, the way to think about it is like, basically you vibrate at a certain level and when you start to raise your vibration, you pretty much just vibrate away from people that just don't want to improve them, their lives, okay? And you can't take them with you because they're too heavy. What else for pile number two, please? Okay. You are very loved, okay? I do feel there's something with this pile, like you're feeling alone, um, or maybe feel like people are kind of bitching about you or gossiping about you behind your back or something, but you are so loved. Even if you are alone in the 3D world, I promise you, you're not. Your guides are always with you. Your angels are always with you. Your ancestors, like your relatives that have died are always with you. Your pets are always with you, right? You are never ever alone and you are so loved. You are actually made of love. Did you know that? Like you actually resonate at the same level of love and light. Yeah, look at this, the news you've been waiting for. I don't know what this miracle is that you've been waiting for, pile number two, but it's coming. You're gonna get some news. Yeah, look, release the Kraken, be yourself, ignore the haters and keep going. You have to start expressing yourself or there's a gift that you have to start expressing. And it doesn't matter what people are saying, right? If there's some people being like, oh, that's a crazy decision, like, what are you doing going off doing mad things and like, oh, do you think you're better than us? Or like, oh, check her out. Like she thinks she's like psychic or something. Ignore them. Just ignore them, okay? Because I don't have a good reason, but this is your mission. This is what you came here to do, whatever this is. And if you don't know what it is yet, you will soon, okay? It'll all become clear. But this is what you were here to do. And people who don't like themselves will find any way to try and make you, like to try and undermine you, make you question yourself because they don't want you to be happy, all right? That's why you gotta ignore them. Okay, and you have, you are enough. So there is, there's, there's some people around you that are like, they're not happy with your progress or they're not happy that you're improving yourself. It doesn't matter. You are enough, all right? You don't need those people. And look, you're on the right track. You're doing the right thing, okay? Like if there's some people that you're leaving behind at the moment, pile number two, they're saying, yes, you're like you, that's the right thing to be doing. You have to leave these people behind. Um, I'm actually not gonna pull any tarot because I don't think we need it. I'm going to pull one of these. Be honest with yourself. Um, number 17, the flower. I'm not sure I've ever seen that card. Just grab the book here. We do, blah, blah, blah. we do ourselves a major disservice when we aren't truthful with ourselves. There's something you know to be true, yet you continue to ignore it. Lying to yourself may feel like the easiest thing to do, but things have changed. Oh my God. It's time for you to face reality, even if it makes you uncomfortable. No matter the outcome, it won't be nearly as bad as you think. So there's something, there's some kind of gift that you have, and I'm fairly sure it's some kind of psychic gift or something. Or it could be something to do with art, something along those lines, and you're trying to ignore it, 
but they're saying you've reached a point now where you can't go back pile number two like and it will work out for you so wow <laughs> intense reading pile number two i hope it was helpful uh thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting the channel i appreciate it so much many blessings to you pile number two love and light Hey, pile number three. So um, if you chose the selenite wand, this is your pile. So I'm going to pull one from this deck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Butterfly, be ready to transform with wisdom. Okay. I love that card. Isn't that beautiful? Let me just quickly grab the book here. When you receive the butterfly card, you are advised <coughs> excuse me, you are advised that it is time for profound transformation. You are ready to emerge from your cocoon. Do not rush this. You need a phase of relaxation and calm before you spread your wings. Use this period for a life review to help you decide what you want to change and remember that the process is inevitable. You will emerge as a different spiritual person. See the world through eyes of expectation and do everything with a new joy and lightness. Stay in harmony and peace. Remember you are a beloved child of the universe and that wondrous possibilities are becoming available to you. You will be protected and supported as you explore the new. You are an emissary for the angels, carrying angel light in your energy fields. People will see or sense your inner beauty and respond to you with love and happiness. Wow, so you have massively, <laughs> you may have found recently that like nothing's been happening. Yeah, but you were learning. Look, this is not so much about the message at the bottom, but see the, the dolphins and see that's you there. The dolphins are keepers of knowledge. So I feel like you've been kind of in hermit mode, maybe for years, maybe for a really long time, um, while you were learning. And now you've learned it and you're ready to go back out to meet the world is kind of what I'm picking up. Let's see what else. What else for pile number three, please? I feel like it's been, because this came out in reverse, something's about to happen. Something's about to happen for you, pile number three. It may have been a year like approximately that you've been in this kind of hermit status learning because remember the hermit is he learned he's a learner he learns right that's why he lives on top of the freaking mountain in the snow all by himself um so i feel like you might have been kind of in this status for about a year and now things are about to happen like there's about to be changes things are about to change Let's pull some tarot first, actually. You have so much wisdom. You, yeah, you have so much wisdom. Okay, what else for pile number three, please? The hanged man. So you've definitely been in a period of waiting, all right, with this hanged man here. But Spirit was trying to give you a new perspective. They were trying to show you something. This is, the, this is what the hanged man is. Spirit keeps you in a certain position until you get this new perspective, which was, it was the wisdom. There's some kind of wisdom that you have here. Like you have some kind of knowledge now. Could be spiritual. Could be... Maybe you were studying something. Maybe like you had a bad breakup or something. Um, or something bad happened and you've kind of been like in stasis. But now you kind of understand a bit more about why it happened. I mean... Obviously, some things that happen are more painful than others, but there's something about you having wisdom here. 
What else for pile number three, please? Yeah, temperance and the hermit. You're like this hermit. I feel like you've been in hermit mode for like a year. Maybe a, maybe a little longer than that. For some of you, it could have been years, but I would say it's at least a year. Um, you've been very, very patient. You've been learning to ground yourself. You've been learning patience and balance and moderation. You may have been learning yoga <laughs> for some of you, but you've definitely been in hermit mode, reflecting about things that have happened in the past, Maybe thinking about things that you want in your future. These are all very like, um, like balanced, moderate, really thinking about things. You might find or you may have found in the last year, you have found many solutions to problems that you had. Or that might be something that's coming up for you. What else for pile number three, please? It's been slow. See how the cards are not coming out? It's been so slow. The Eight of Swords. So no more feeling stuck. You've been feeling really stuck, but that's about to change, all right? I don't know if there's been some kind of problem that you couldn't see a solution to. If that's the case, you're about to. You're about to see the solution. The Eight of Swords, you've, you've felt stuck, but you haven't been stuck. Um, or you felt like they were... Hold on, let me get my words right. Um, you felt stuck, but they were keeping you there for a reason. All right, you weren't stuck. And now things are about to happen, yeah. Look. This, the Wheel of Fortune. Something's about to happen, something's about to change. It might be kind of fast. Wheel of Fortune is um, things changing kind of fast. Yep. I'm just going to take that Four of Swords. So the Temperance with the Four of Swords, you were learning, you were resting, and you were learning. There's been some kind of delay. It's like you've been away from the world. For like a year <laughs> just learning and waiting and being balanced and learning to balance yourself what else for pile number three please Cards keep getting stuck around about this hermit energy. <laughs> the hermit with the devil. All right. You really needed this time, is the thing. You actually really needed this time to get past the things that have been holding you back. I feel like you've achieved a lot in this time that you've been away from the world. I mean, you've still been interacting with the world, but you've kind of not really been that much. You haven't been invested in it. And I feel like you needed it because the devil is all about overcoming things that hold you back. And one more, please for pile number three. 
Queen of Swords. So you've been... Something hurt you. Yeah, Queen of Swords with the Five of Cups here. Something happened. I don't know what it was. Pile number three. I don't know if it was to do with love or something. A bereavement maybe for some of you. Or, um, I don't know, maybe you lost your job. Something. There was something here. Things did not go the way that you thought they were going to go. There was some kind of hurt, some kind of heartbreak. Um, and your walls have been kind of up here with this Queen of Swords. Like you've kind of had your defences up here, but you're coming out of this now, is what they want you to know. Like it's time for that to end now, and you won't even really have to do anything, it'll just happen on its own, alright? Um, yeah, you've, you've really, um, you've really been protecting yourself. You've been learning to love yourself first. So you've actually been learning boundaries, is what I want to say. Life purpose, which was one of your life purposes, okay? Um, because you're going to move from this Queen of Swords energy to Queen of Cups energy, okay? Because the Queen of Swords can be kind of defensive, and it's because she's been hurt in the past, alright? But you're going to be moving into Queen of Cups energy, which is... Um, like much more like I understand why things have happened but I have healthy boundaries like I'm not keeping everyone out but I know the types of people that I need to keep out now for some of you that's going to be that but for some of you like this was about you had to learn boundaries you may have withdrawn from people a lot because you were kind of tired of maybe one person hurt you or some cataclysmic thing happened or you were just noticing there was a lot of people that hurt you and you've taken this time out to put yourself first and to learn boundaries and that is one of your life purposes that's one of the reasons that was one one of your checklists on your one of your to-do lists on your soul contract so it's time to come out of that now because you've learned the lesson yeah, oh my god, spirit. Let down your defences. You're on the right track, so you are doing everything right, pile number three, okay? Don't think that you're in the wrong place. You are doing everything right. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. This is all part of the plan. You've been healing. Or you are healing, okay? But I want to say you're kind of coming out of this now. And look at that. Stop letting people use you. So, and at the bottom you have let the love shine in. So it's been about this, I feel like for a lot of you, it was like everybody was hurting you or there was one person that really badly hurt you and you got to the point where you were like, I don't know what to do anymore. Like every person that I go to hurts me. So I'm just gonna withdraw from the world or everything that I try and do, I get hurt. So I'm just going to withdraw from the world until I can sort this shit out. And basically, now you've learned the boundaries, it's time to let people back in, okay? Because you can control it now. You know what to look for in people now. You know the red flags now. You know what you will accept and what you won't accept. And we're going to get one from this deck as well. What would you like to say to pile number three, please, Spirit? <laughs> Any messages, Spirit, please? You want me to just pull one? a different deck. Hold on a second. Hold on, because it's like there's like a pile here. There we go. I'm supposed to use this deck. There we go. Oh, wow, that came out really fast. Okay, soulmates. 
That's why it wasn't coming out in the other deck. Let me just grab the book here. Without getting my face on camera because I ain't got no makeup on and uh, <laughs> nobody needs to see that. So, you have soulmates here, pile number three. Let me just see. Number 33, which is it? That's a holy number in itself. You might want to Google that. Being holy and fully yourself is the only way to attract a true soulmate relationship. I'm actually going to read the whole thing, okay, because I don't usually do that, but I'm going to. A soulmate relationship will contain everything you want and everything you need. You will experience a beautiful sense of connectedness and mutuality with this person and may even feel like you've known them before. Sounds wonderful, doesn't it? So how do you attract this kind of relationship or how can you be sure that your current partner is your soulmate? The most direct and effective way to attract your soulmate is to just be yourself. When you let go of any pretenses, behaviors and attitudes that aren't your truth, your personal vibration automatically shifts and you become a beacon to the kind of mate you long to spend your life with. Um, the same is true of an existing relationship. If you're harboring doubts about the relationship and aren't sure if your partner is your soulmate, then just be yourself. Start by considering where you have not been fully authentic up till now and make some gentle, gradual adjustments and improvements. Communicate your realizations as best you can and give your partner credit for trying to understand. Make your changes at a pace that allows you both a reasonable amount of time to embrace your new way of being. Over time, you will discover whether you are right for each other or not. The suggested approach to just be yourself can sound too simple to the ego or monkey mind, so beware of its tendency to complicate your thinking. But being wholly, fully and unashamedly yourself is the only way to attract and maintain a true soulmate relationship. If it takes a little longer to attract your true soulmate, then rest assured this is time well spent. And if your current relationship ends as a result of your truth, then you have created an opportunity in your life for the relationship you have always desired. Both situations require commitment, courage, and a willingness to be honest with yourself. So also I wanna say soulmates are not always romantic. So you could have had, with this five of cups here, there's definitely been someone or some people in your life that have disappointed you. And I wanna say this is about people. It could even be work mates but you didn't mesh with these people before or this person and this is the reason why you kind of kept attracting these people that hurt you because I think you weren't being yourself because you were sort of trying to please people by being who they wanted you to be and I think they just took advantage of you but it looks to me like you have either a romantic soulmate or if that's not what you're looking for, friends, proper true friends coming in. I mean, you may not have a very supportive family. I just feel there's a very strong sense of being alone in this pile. So you may even have family problems or not have a lot of friends, but they want you to know because you've been through all of this and you've learned how to have boundaries and love yourself. This was one of your life purposes, <laughs> like a huge one huge so now that you've done that you're going to start attracting the right people be that a lover or a husband or a wife or friends you know so i hope that was helpful pile number three thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for supporting the channel as well i really appreciate it uh, many blessings to you pile number three love and light